Hey friends and welcome back. I am so excited about this DIY. I'm doing a Ray Dunn dupe and I am using Dollar Tree Supply. So I grabbed two of these two packs of pots and one of these silver trays and a can of spray paint that's my favorite and I use it all the time and I went outside and I just went ahead and spray painted those and ran out of spray paint and say hi to our rooster Ollie <laughs> So comment down below, hi Ollie, right? So I ran out of spray paint. I use this stuff all the time. I really love this color. So I had to pop out to the store and buy another can. And I went ahead and spray painted all of those items. I only needed three pots for this project. So I only spray painted three of them. And I didn't really spray the insides, just the top parts that we you would see. I am going to put things in these pots. I'm actually gonna put plants in these pots so I wasn't too concerned about the inside. I ended up using my silhouette to make decals to put on top of these. Whenever I use my silhouette to cut decals I always print first to make sure that the sizing is the right size for what I'm doing. These were about an inch high and mm, two inches, an inch and a half to two inches wide and I went ahead and weeded all of that out. I have started to put weeding boxes around my images and then saving the file as like black vinyl. This way I don't have to cut it out and I'm not having extra scraps or anything like that. And then I can still stick my whole vinyl back into my machine and know where that weeding box is saved and avoid that spot. So I can just keep using this same piece of vinyl over and over again and save it instead of having to use scraps. So I thought that was a cool tip. And I am just using Dollar Tree contact paper to transfer over this vinyl onto my flower pots. The hardest part for this project was deciding which three words to put on the pots and it's slightly embarrassing because obviously our mouse house is three words. So I just am lining mouse up with R so they line up horizontally when the pots sit next to each other. I also wanted to show you guys the hinge method for applying things to curved surfaces like these flower pots. So basically I am just taking my vinyl and cutting notches in between each of the letters so I can apply almost each letter individually. So again, I'm lining up house so they align vertically and the first letter that I'm pushing down is U and then I'm going to put down the O and the H and that's why it's called a hinge and then I'm hinging the S and the E. My camera cut out the end but I really wanted to share that with, that with you guys too. Then I decided to take these chalk labels. I got these from Amazon. I'll link them below for you guys and I cut just this rectangular one into thirds. Because I am using this to plant actual plants I thought it would be cool to kind of have two different sides that I could show. I could show like the decorative side or I could show this side with the chalk labels and I could write which plant is in each pot just on these chalk labels. So it's kind of like two looks for one in this dupe which I thought was pretty cool. Also, you could totally do this dupe without a silhouette or a cutting machine. You could use a Sharpie or a paint marker and write your words on too, and I think it would just look just as sweet if you did it that way too. So I wanted to show you my actual Ray Dunn planter. It says plant, grow, thrive. I didn't want to repeat it exactly because I didn't need two of the same things, but this was $20. <laughs> oh my goodness, right? And here is the dupe and obviously we could personalize it with anything we wanted on it. Our mouse house, $3. So two packs of those pots and one of these trays and 
Um, you can really use whatever paint you have on hand. I did spend $3 on the spray paint, but I love it and I use it all the time. And I will use it for more projects, but you could totally use chalk paint or acrylic paint if you have that on hand too. Oh my goodness, I'm just so excited about this. I've been wanting to do this dupe for so long and I'm just so happy. I can't wait to get plants in there. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what three words would you put on your pots. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.